revving up our hunt for this morning. But on this video, we think we have a perfect plan, a perfect setup for this morning. We hear turkeys gobbling, so we get set up. Watch to the end, as always, we've got a tip video at the end about turkey sign, how we use that to set up in the morning. Thanks for watching. Uh, the birds seemed to know where those property lines were because we went to all the way to one end and they were on the property line had a hen come in close we walked down walked to the other end where we heard some right away this morning and couldn't strike anything up seen a bunch of deer but no turkeys so we jumped over to this piece of public land here this is that southern public land unit that we deer hunt a lot we were driving in and Drew spotted a bunch of turkeys strutting just probably 100 yards or so he said off in this field right off public so we're in business now we're going to get down this road get our butts back in there and see if we can't get something to come in they were pretty far out so i couldn't tell but i think they were on this side Yeah. Yeah, he's strutting out there. Should we try and cross this and follow this and get right up next and just spot? I don't know. I can't tell what side he's on. He's over there. He's, I think he's on that left side. Because he's probably not coming across. It's the oh, best. He's definitely not coming across. We're going to have to cross. We can get up in those trees and get all the way down to the corner if we can get crossed. If we go back, he's still going to be there. He's still going to be there. We have to go all the way. I think we got to go all the way. Yeah. snuck up around this road here on the public land. There's toms and some hens right around the corner. We seen them when we were on the other side of the road. We snuck up here. Brody and Drew went up to see if they couldn't put a stock on one. But now it's starting to rain. So, and I can't see where they went. I'm gonna stick my head up over the thing. So hopefully they can get close to one and get a shot. This rain probably ain't gonna help. Do you see him ever? You see the out. You see the hens or anything when you snuck not around? When, not when I walked over there. I seen them when we were sitting right here. I yeah. seen the hens like getting ready to start walking that way. And then I started calling. And I seen one. I think it was a tom, but he wasn't like strutting and he was like standing right there. And then there was another one over there. And he was strutting. But I think this one may have seen me because he kind of looked nervous. It could be. Before I even started calling. But
we're back on our southern public land unit today. We were actually down here a couple days ago with our friend Drew, and we actually went to a different property, called up a hand, but that was it. But we came back here, and we're hoping they'll do like they did a couple days ago. Eventually work their way up this road. As soon as they come around this road, I'm hid behind this tree. I should be able to get a shot at them, but they're gobbling like crazy this morning. We've been giving them a few calls. They're gobbling, don't know if it's back at us, or it just happens to be that we're calling at the right time, but they're gobbling over there at something else. But our plan is to just wait them out. Hopefully they'll work this way up this road. Well, we're wrapping up our hunt for today. We're walking back to the car. The turkeys didn't want to cooperate. There was a whole big bunch of them. There was probably like six toms or something like that, and a bunch of hens back there gobbling this morning. All kinds of them. They're across the cornfield, roosted along the river there, and that cornfield's private, so we can't set up on it. So we got as close as we could, just setting up on this roadway, just gonna kind of wait them out in a place where we know they like to strut and they just didn't cooperate. At one point, about eight o'clock, I snuck around the corner to look out there to see what they were doing. And there was probably, I think it was a hen and then a tom out there strutting, working their way across the field. And I thought maybe they were coming in, but they kind of came across the field and must've went back to the west because they never came around the corner. We gave them about 45 minutes. Then we looked again too right before we left and didn't see anything, but he was still gobbling. They're back in there somewhere, but we just can't quite get close enough. So I guess the strategy going forward is to either go back to this spot, set up there and just try to wait them out again. It's a place they like to strut, like I said. So that's probably gonna be our strategy for those birds, unless they wanna work off and you know move farther west onto the public. But, and they are also in a big, in a big group. So maybe once they split up, some of those toms will move onto the public a little bit. Cause there is probably five or six toms just all in one group this morning on the roost. So. Maybe once they split up, that'll help us out a little bit too. But we're going to wrap things up for today. Thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe because it helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.